Basu and welcome back to another video of me talking about Akka 13. And I know it may sound strange with the 8th episode, but this was the best episode of this show so far. The backstory of what happened to the second princess, why she left, and also about Nino, how she actually got Jean's friend, also how Lotta came to trust Nino so much and sees him as, well, kind of part of the family. And also a bit more some hints who could be the evil guy in the end. So, yeah, uh, quite a lot was going on in this episode. That's for sure. So, we had, like I said, the flashback to the past with the reason why the second princess left and why the king is also always looking at her portrait. And it's also that the death was faked. So it's really cool. I liked it. So she was able to leave because she was removed from the family registry. Mainly because of the advisor who was like, well, she's she's going to cause trouble and she should stop with the stuff she's doing. And she kind of did, but left the family to see more of the country. And... When she left, she has one guy serving her with her, and he also took one of his trusted underlings with him, and that guy's son, which turns out to be Nino. So it's really, really funny. We got quite a bit of comedy, but... One of the funniest scenes was how the father was stalking the princess and was looking at her, how she found her husband when she got pregnant, when Jean was born, and then later when she was once again pregnant with a second, with a Lotta, and when she was born and when Nino joined Jean with the order of his father. It was pretty neat and really entertaining. His father was totally excited about Jean entering high school and he was like, Nino, go to that high school and protect him. And Nino was like, uh, yo, I just turned 25. So it's really interesting to see that Nino is actually way older than Jean and how it all got to be. And also the ending of that episode was just beautiful. Because the hidden, not hidden meaning of Jean's reaction when he heard the story and he asked Nino how he cheered him up and comforted him after the loss of his parents, even though his own father was in that accident and died. So it's still obvious that Jean sees Nino as his friend, and it's a really nice scene. 
So, the guy who served the second princess, he looks really, really close to like a younger version of that Groschula guy. So, it is still interesting to see who will be the bad guy in the end. Will it be that Groschula or the advisor of the king or the next heir of for the king's position? Because Jean mother was removed from the family register and he has no right to be the heir of the family. So it's it's really cool and I'm still curious to see where this is going. So anyways, it was, like I've said, a great episode, my favorite so far. And I'm looking forward to the next episode. So that's it basically for now. Thanks for watching and see you guys soon. Adios and bye bye.